What's going on, guys? Looks like we have a great uh, double header today. And uh, let me see here. We had uh, Boston versus uh, Cleveland. And the end game was 109-102. Uh, and uh, that makes the Boston Celtics lead the series 3-1. to one. So how about that? Uh, just as everybody predicted, you know, everyone thinks that Boston's going to go to the finals. Um, and this is where it's at right now, 3-1. But uh, yeah, Tatum stepped up most definitely. Uh, 33 points and 11 rebounds. And Jalen uh, had a good game, 27 points and 8 rebounds. Uh, Horford... Um, had six rebounds. Uh, Holiday has 16 points. Everybody pretty much contributed. Uh, Pritchard on off the bench, uh, 11. Luke uh, had nine. So um, can't complain about that. And uh, let's check out Cleveland here. All right. So um, look, Garland had 30 points. Um, Lavert had 19. Uh, Max had 15. But the thing is, um, they just couldn't close the gap enough to end up winning the game. And uh, what was interesting was um, LeBron was at the game. So what do you guys think about that? So there's going to be speculation that, um, you know, he might be scouting uh, the Cleveland Cavaliers. You know, I think there's um, three teams that I could possibly see him play. Um, the Lakers. Um, I think that's where he's going to close things out at um, in his career. And uh, Cleveland could be something because they have a very young team. And on top of that, it's the East Coast, which is weaker compared to the West Coast. So um, that could be something um, to think about as well because he wouldn't have to grind as hard um, compared to the West Coast. And, um, you know, who knows? I could see him in uh, OKC. What about that? What about OKC? They have that young, really talented group. And uh, if they had LeBron on there, that could push them over the edge. But, of course, like I said, um, that's West Coast. West Coast is just a tough, tough uh, group over there, you know. So th those are the scenarios I could think of. But, um, yeah, or who knows? Maybe uh, he could go to the Knicks. Uh but yeah, there's different scenarios um, when it comes to that. But if I was him, you know, I'd consider a East Coast team just because, um, you know, it's less competition. You know what I mean? But that's just my thoughts. But like I said earlier, I I wouldn't be surprised if he ended up staying with the Lakers just because I think they're willing to do anything, including um, drafting his son to be on the team as well. So I don't think uh, his kid will get a lot of minutes on there, but at least they'll be able to, um, you know, play on the on the squad together uh, for a few minutes every few games. Um, and that, you know, that makes it special for him, you know, that could close out his career and he doesn't have to win a championship um, and he'd still be happy. But yeah, um, that's pretty much it on this game right here. Three uh, one Boston's going to look to close it out at home. And um, this could be it for Cleveland. And you never could know. I mean, uh, LeBron scouting out uh, Cleveland. That's what I'm thinking. I mean, of course, that's his hometown. So he could be just hanging out and, and visiting uh, uh, just to watch a game or whatever. But you never could know. Never could know with him, right? With all the moves that he's made over the years. He's jumped around from team to team. But let's check out the other game here. Oklahoma versus Dallas. And honestly... Throughout the whole game, I thought that Dallas was going to end up being 3-1, to one, you know. And, um, and the, I mean, they were just leading throughout the whole game. And for some reason, uh, OKC, even though they were behind by double digits uh, for the longest time, they somehow grinded back um, to close up the gap. And then next thing you know, they end up winning this thing, 196. How about that? That's it was a crazy game um, just because when you watch it, it was like, oh, it's over. It's a wrap. You know, Dallas got this. All they have to do is keep on trotting along and keep on doing what they're doing. And um, it would have been game over. But nah. Uh, but let's look at this. Um, let's look at the scores here. Look at that. SGA, Mr. Shea himself, 34 freaking points. And eight rebounds. It's very nice, very nice. And who else stepped up? Um, everybody else contributed, you know. Uh, Jalen got 14. Uh, Dord got 17. 
Uh, Holmgren got 18. And all of them had solid rebounds. Look at that. 9, 8, 9. Everybody had good rebounds on there. Did the bench contribute a lot here? Um, not really. But, you know, I mean, they, they put in some t uh, their time and they were just there to fill up the space. <laughs> but for some reason, the core team, uh, the starters, ended up um, doing just enough to uh, pull off this win, which was crazy. I honestly did not think that was going to happen. But let's look at uh, the Mavericks here. All right, P.J. Washington, 21 points and 12 rebounds. That's a lot of rebounds right there. Uh, Jones Jr. got 17. Uh, Gafford got 10. Uh, Luca got 18 with 12 rebounds. Uh, Kyrie was a little bit on the quiet side, 9 points. So um, he was kind of, um, I guess, struggling. Um, you know, but he got the assists in, but he just couldn't get the points in. Um, Hardaway pulled in a few daggers. Um, but yeah, that was pretty much it right there. And that ended up, um, I don't know what, what ha really happened. I mean, when I was watching the game, uh, I just couldn't believe it. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, near the, near the end, it just looked like they had some kind of breakdown where they just couldn't, um, um, you know, execute their plays or whatever, or just poor uh, game execution uh, near the end. And now look at that. We're 2-2 uh, two, two now, which uh, means, um, you know, we got at least two more games going on. So uh, at least we're going to six games. But um, you never could know. I mean, could this young um, Thunder team uh, really, like, beat the Mavericks? Because everyone is expecting the Mavericks to win the series, right? But um, but Oklahoma, they got that young um, they got that young blood blood thing going on. You know what I mean? Um, it's just a really young team, and honestly, if you really like um, you know, look at them since they're so young, uh, all of them could look like you know college seniors. You know what I mean? Uh, but anyways, I mean, 196, what do you guys think about that? Do you guys think Oklahoma could pull this off or Dallas going to end up closing this out in a couple games? Um, yeah, but Luka, most definitely, he needed a little bit more help. Um, Kyrie was just a little bit too quiet. Um, but, you know, what's interesting about Kyrie, I mean, um, throughout the whole career, um this the most I've seen him smile, especially that previous game uh, where they ended up going up 2-1. Um, I've never seen him really like that happy and smile like that. You know what I mean? It was um, it's kind of interesting to see, you know, when you end up, on, you know, like anywhere in life, right? Where you're, whether you're working for corporate or you're doing something or whatever, um, where you work or who you work for or whatever like that, it makes a big difference on your energy and how you feel and um, and how things make you happy. Um, you know, of course, uh, you know he could change up to a different Kyrie if they lose the series. Um, but right now, it just seems like he's having fun and um, and he's in it. You know what I mean? Not that loopy um, uh, Kyrie that we know. Uh, sometimes on, sometimes off, and you don't know if his mind is all there or not. But um, but this time around, he's all you know. He's smiling. He's having a good time, and um, and he's enjoying his uh, you know, playing with his teammates or whatever. But, yeah, but right now, that's it right now. I mean, 2-2. Uh, two, two. And then um, Boston is up 3-1, um, which I think they're going to close out in the next game because they're going to be playing in Boston. But this one, this one's up in the air. We're um, we're going to be going at least six games here. And I wouldn't be surprised if it goes seven just because um, Oklahoma's, you know, young team uh, going to give them some troubles. You know what I mean? But anyways, um, that's all I got for you. I, I'm looking forward to um, to uh, Denver's game tomorrow since they are now tied 2-2. Who would have thought when um, I thought they were going to end up getting swept? You know, I was wrong about that. But anyways, I'll catch you guys later.